Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be covering some heavy duty machines and the attachments they use. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to give the video a like and to subscribe to the channel to see more like it. First up, we have the Komar SB62000-800P. It's a mobile shear press, designed for shearing and baling constructional scrap and other non-ferrous materials, such as vehicle bodies and metal scrap. It is powered by a 173 horsepower 6-cylinder Volvo diesel engine. The shear baler has 280 tons of folding power, 775 tons of shearing force, and 175 tons of baling force. Features such as auto shearing and bailing cycles, manual control, and radio remote control allow this machine to be operated by a single person. Next we have the Vermeer SC70TX. It's a compact machine built for stump cutting that is ideal for residential areas. For maximum job site productivity, its gearbox drive cutter wheel system directs the utmost amount of horsepower to the cutter wheel. When the operator leaves the controls, the operator presence detection system stops the cutter wheel automatically. Its tracks make it easy to move around wherever it's working, making its work speedy and practical. Next, we have the Atlant Demolition Robot. It is a 3.8 meter long, 2.2 meter wide, and 1.6 meter high multifunctional machine with a crawler base. It is designed for long term and efficient operations and can be equipped with various attachments. It's able to operate at high performance and high efficiency. The Atlant with remote control is able to work in the most adverse of conditions. Such robots allow emergency personnel to carry out emergency rescue operations in hazardous areas without the threat of causing additional injury. Next, we have the S-Series Rail Machine from Hyperlift Engineering. It is a hybrid machine designed to work and travel on both roads and rails. The retractable wheel assemblies position the vehicle on the rail, while allowing the wheel to provide traction and braking. The wheel sets can be raised and lowered hydraulically and set on narrow standard or broad gauges. The S-Series rail machine complies with Australian railway standards and can withstand the most severe working conditions while also being safe, versatile, efficient, and simple to operate. Next, we have the Green Tech 300. It is a forest cutter head compatible with 7.5 to 14 ton excavators. The saw head is compact and lightweight and will effortlessly go through both soft and hardwood. Its cutting blade consists of a 25mm thick, 855mm diameter hardox steel blade with 12 knives. The grapple can open to over 1 meter, meaning that several trees and shrubs can be clamped and the cutoff product can be laid aside easily in one go.
Next we have the Power Cropper. It is a concrete mulcher used for ultra-fast pile reduction. It breaks off the pile and the rebar in one go, rapidly reducing the pile to the desired level. Then the waste is dumped straight into a dumper or allocated site area. It is also used to nibble the pile, causing the concrete to fracture and expose the rebar. A notable benefit of the power cropper is its ability to retain the excess concrete within the machine's body for easy waste disposal. During operation, it is suspended from the dipper arm of an excavator and is designed to fit and work on excavators weighing more than 13 tons. The Optimass Mini 2.0 is up next. It is a self-propelled pavement joint filler. Its overlapping and revolving brooms sweep the jointing material and pour that into the pavement joints. It can also be utilized on smaller paved surfaces such as terraces, garden walkways, driveways, and so on due to its compact size. The device's collapsible guiding handle makes it convenient to travel with. The Optimus is also able to complete the subsequent sanding and joint splitting. Next we have the XT Mobile Shears from Genesis Attachment. It is a new series of shear attachments designed for processing steel and other materials. The attachments can be fitted on smaller carriers, which reduces initial acquisition investments and hourly energy consumption costs. They have new designs that provide a center of gravity closer to the excavator, enabling these attachments to mount on excavators that previously couldn't. The jaw geometry has also been designed to pick up material and reduce wear from ground contact. They have reverse-mounted hydraulic cylinders that shorten the cutting length and weight while protecting the rod from damage. Next, we have the Green Climber Remote Control Slope Mower. It is able to work on slopes of up to 60 degrees, while being remotely operated from a distance of up to 500 feet. It can even take down growths of up to 8 inches in diameter. The low center of gravity keeps it glued to the ground. It comes in a number of variants, but the LV800, like the one we're currently covering, has a 75 horsepower engine, making sure it can cut through anything. Up next, we have the CBC-30 from Bauer Machinen. It is designed for special low headroom applications in diaphragm wall cutters. Despite the compact design, the device excels with its impressive performance. In combination with the hydraulic power pack and the HDS hose reel system, it ensures a high degree of flexibility with regard to different setup variants. These allow it to operate in confined construction site conditions and requirements. Each variant is also available in three different height configurations. Next, we have the CAT P332. It's a pulverizer designed for demolition. 
All of its wear components are bolt-on and field replaceable. No welding is required for maintenance. The hydraulic components are protected inside the housing, but accessible with hand tools. The machine has speed booster technology that actively balances speed and power, delivering up to 52% faster cycle times and 13% better force. The jaws position at the best angle with full fast and bi-directional 360 degree rotation. All cat pulverizers are compatible with cat excavators. Last but not least, we have the Salvage Debris Grab. It is a 600-ton grabber designed for wreck removal projects. It is connected to a shear legs crane to control the hoisting height of the grab. The grab itself is equipped with three vertical mounted hydraulic cylinders to open and close. The cylinders are actuated by means of a subsea power pack mounted within the steel construction of the grab. A sonar survey system helps it to accurately position, resulting in high production efficiency. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.